the last lesson um, that I'm going to touch on, you know, is Kobe Bryant's attentiveness and his commitment to mindfulness and visualization. And, you know, I think that that's so key. It's so important to, you know, tap into the mental side of the game or the mental side of, you know, whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. Um, you know, winning in your head first, you know, seeing what that success looks like, uh, mapping that out, planning that out, um, and then attacking it. And, you know, you, you see what you focus on. That's, it, it just is what it is. You know, you're, you, you have an opportunity to look at the, the positive or look at the negative and allow your focus to shift towards either or um, and whichever one you focus on that's where you're inevitably going to end up right like you know you can't you know you can't throw to your left while looking at your right you know it, it just doesn't make sense it doesn't work that way um, and losers tend to, to focus on you know the penalties of failure. They tend to focus on you know how bad it'll be if they fail or what might happen if they trip or you know what I don't want to try because if I try and I fail you know I'm going to be embarrassed or people are going to talk about me or you know whatever the case may be. And some people just never get started um, for the fear of failure. Whereas winners you know they they visualize the they visualize the rewards of success. They know that hey it's going to be so good and it's going to feel so good to accomplish that. And to be able to know that I put X amount of work in um, and, you know, to reach that goal, to reach that end destination, and it's going to feel so good, not just because of the winning, but because of the journey that it took to get, to get there. Um, they understand the growth that's going to happen within that tough place between A and B. It's not just about the destination. It's about, you know, what happens and what takes shape and takes place over that journey. Um, and that's something that Kobe got. You know, he understood that this thing is a journey. You know, his career was a, a marathon and he was starting to begin to utilize that, that marathon and utilize the skills that he learned within that to motivate and inspire and educate others and teach them and prepare them for the marathon that inevitably they were going to face. And with any marathon, you're going to start off in those first couple miles, you know, they're going to be a breeze. You know, you're, hey, you know what? I got this. And then you start to hit that wall a little bit and things get tough um, and you start to get that feeling of maybe you want to quit or maybe you want to give up. And you can't see the finish line, so you know you start to think that I'll never get there. And what what I want or what I've envisioned or what I've dreamed of is not realistic. It's not possible. I can't accomplish it. But if you have the will, if you have you know the intestinal uh, drive to continue to push, to continue to go, the further you get, you start to see that that finish line come closer into sight, and it starts to feel good. That journey starts to feel amazing. You start to you know think I was able to over come whatever obstacle or whatever hurdle or whatever setback and now I'm this close to my dream and now that that you, you don't think about the 18 miles behind you you're just thinking about the you know the seven miles ahead of you that's going to reach that destination and, and you know when you take it one step at a time or one day at a time or one game at a time or one presentation at a time and you break it down that way and you start to amass a series of wins, that's when this journey becomes really fun. That's when you become the best version of yourself because each day you're focused on winning that day. You're not focused on, hey, I want to finish this marathon. You're focused on, hey, I want to finish this next mile within the marathon. And if you continue to rack up mile after mile, inevitably you're going to finish the marathon Marathon, but it's you're able to digest it and manage it in smaller chunks, um, and that's something that Kobe talked about a lot. Was you know being you know mindful. You know talked about the the process of visualization and seeing the outcome before you know he got there, or seeing you know what that defense was going to look like, or the challenges he was you know anticipating to face beforehand, and mentally preparing himself for that. Um, and that's something that I, I bring into my daily life. Um, I, I, I meditate. Um, I visualize. I take each day, you know, one day at a time. Um, I focus on being 1% better every day versus trying to go from, you know, being here to being there. You know, I'm taking the stairs and we're going one step at a time. So um, the, the life of Kobe Bryant, the legacy of Kobe Bryant inevitably is going to mean something different to, to different people. Um, you know, there's different things that you're going to take from him or different things that maybe your friends or family will take from him and take from his career. I challenge you to take something, whatever it is. 
I challenge you, whether it be one of the eight lessons that I talked about, whether it be you know, a lesson that, that you saw that, that I didn't mention, whatever the case it may be, I challenge you to find something um, and, and think about that today. Think about that on 824 and think about how you're gonna utilize that in your life moving forward. And if it's something that I didn't touch on, please drop it in the comments, I'd love to hear it. I'd love to hear um, the, the inspiration that Kobe's had on your life. I, I'd love to hear how you're gonna utilize that to inspire others. So make sure to leave that below. I promise you I'll answer every single comment. We can have some great dialogue. We can talk about it. We can all celebrate uh, Kobe's memory here today um, in, in, in this format. And then moving forward, we'll celebrate his memory in our actions. We'll celebrate his memory in taking those different uh, lessons that, that he taught us you know, indirectly um, and applying them and and then helping others to apply them as well. All right, guys, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this, um, as I appreciate uh, every view, every comment, every like on, on any of my videos. Make sure if this video moved you in any way, uh, share it with somebody that you think it can help. Uh, subscribe for upcoming content. I, I've got a lot of great things planned for the month of September and beyond. Uh, I'm really hitting that stride, and I'm excited to bring you along this journey with me. All right, guys, thanks so much.